start one more time, we want to see if there's another altitude or speed restriction that we need to adhere to. And if we look at Sunst, sure enough, we need to cross that at 8,000 and at 210 knots. So let's go ahead and navigate over to Sunst. Okay, it's uh, close. It's predicting the FMC is predicting that we'll be crossing it at about uh, just a little over 8,000, but the speed is wrong. So we once again need to change that. So we just type in 210 slash 8,000, and we'll go ahead and punch that in, and make sure you always hit the execute button. Okay, let's see if we have any. Uh, other altitude restrictions uh, we don't however once we get to chips we need to cross that at 170 and the FMC is saying 210 so we just need to change uh, that to 170 and there we go execute and that's about right so let's go ahead and go to the first page. Obviously, we're 36 nautical miles away from Daggett. And then we're going to be descending to a flight level of 284 to Misson. And then we're going to be descending down to flight level of 130 to Clar. What we're looking at here, or what I look at, is keep keep in mind these are estimated altitudes. and this kind of takes practice in a sense that the FMC doesn't always get this right. You know, just re remember the the FMC is 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 not capable of making your autopilot do something that it's just incapable of doing. It will not allow you to defy the laws of physics. So, what I look at is that I look at these descent rates, and do I say? And I say to myself, well, does that make sense? You know, for instance, from Daggett to Misson we're just losing a little under a thousand feet of altitude in 12 nautical miles that's very much achievable where I run into a problem however is that from Misson to Clar which is only a distance of 49 nautical miles I'm expected to go from flight level 280 to flight level 130 okay that's 15,000 feet oh and on top of that I have to slow down to 250 knots I don't think that that's going to be really possible. One of the things with the 737 is that it um, it doesn't slow down very well while it's descending. So I'm going to change these figures a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just change this flight level to something a little more manageable, maybe about 250. And like I said, this is this just takes a little bit of um, a little bit of practice on your part. Once you get really good at flying your aircraft and become familiar with the 737, you'll be able to figure this out on your own. 315. Uh, I'm going to slow that down to about 300, just to give ourselves a little more room. And we'll go ahead and execute that in. And whoops. And so far it looks about right. Okay, from 13,000 I'm dropping to 12, then I'm dropping to 10. Uh, 9, 8, a little over 8, 8. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and unpause the sim. And let's go ahead and look at our display here. And. We're going to see some new pieces of information. One of the first things that we're going to see is a Daggett. We're going to see a little TD. That's your top of descent indicator. Basically, that's telling you that once you reach that point, your aircraft is going to start descending. And we're not very far away from that point. Uh, we're about 32 nautical miles from that point. So let's go ahead and close this up. Bring up the FMC again and we're going to be descending down to a flight level of 250 at this point once we pass Daggett 
so what I need to do is just change my altitude down to 250. I mean, you could actually change this down all the way down to 2000 if you wanted to. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. The, as long as VNAV is engaged, it'll the, the system will adhere to these altitude restrictions. So let's see how that works out. I'm getting closer to our top of descent mark. And this is just going to take uh, a little bit of time. So let me let me pause. So let me fast forward a little bit. Okay, we're slowly approaching our top of descent. Probably about four four mile four nautical miles away. And you'll notice that once we reach that point, a couple of things are going to happen. One, your engines, the thrust level on your engines is going to slow down a little bit. Hopefully. Watch, I'll get this wrong in a tutorial. And we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Just waiting for this to happen here. Okay, we're reaching our top of descent. Okay, and yep, sure enough, our engines are slowing down a little bit. So that's good and we are now in a descent profile. At this point we're gonna start decelerating. And why is that gonna happen? Well that's because we told the FMC that it's gonna slow us down to 250 knots at this point. So if we look at our descent, yep, sure enough Everything is uh, so far going smoothly. The other thing that I want you to pay attention to oops, is right here, the little diamond. It's almost very, it's very similar to uh, the instrumentation that you use during your ILS approach. Basically, if the diamond is too high, it means that you're too low to meet the next altitude restriction. If the diamond is too low, it means that you're too high. The one thing that you can do is to visualize what's going on a little better. Let's close this out. And we're going to hit the data button and bring this up again. And now it's giving us some information of where we need to be. And all that's telling us is it's just visually displaying roughly about what time we're going to be hitting this point and at what altitude. Let me just, if I make it bigger, there we go. Okay, so we leveled off at about uh, a flight level of 250 at this point, And you'll notice that VNAV disconnected because we didn't change our altitude setting in time. Okay, our next altitude setting is uh, 13,000 feet and we're about 46 nautical miles away. So we need to go ahead and just change this down to 13,000. Hit VNAV just to pick things up again and now change it down to 13,000. And if we look at our display, okay, well, we're running into a little bit of a problem. And let me pause this real quick. And the problem that we're running into is we're 40, 49, about 42 nautical miles away from Clar, at which point we need to be at 13,000 feet. We're at 24,000 feet. The diamond is indicating that we're about 1,333 feet too high. It's not going to make it. It's getting there, but if you want to help it along a little bit, you may want to click in your speed brakes. We're just going to slow things down a little bit. And sure enough, slowly we're 